Oh, this is gonna be a little difficult. Okay, so because as I said, this is why I stay on the surface of politics because I don't. And I'm serious. I don't know much. I stay on the surface. People broke, get them money. How to get them that money? Think about where that money is being used that people are paying into the government that's not going back to the people. Take it from that and give it to the people. It's sort of that simple. You know, it ain't even Robin Hood. It's not even reverse Robin Hood. It's literally, can, we, can I have my damn money instead of you using it to help other people get wealthy? So, I got a letter today, as I'm sure a lot of people did. And maybe you are one of them. And uh, it's from uh, Mike Bloomberg. And it looks very, very uh, copied. This came on the envelope. So we're going to just go throw that out there right so you can see that. You see that? You know, this got my name right. Spell my name right. You know? So, hey, Cedric, Cedric, I wanted to, I want you to see how the Greenwood Initiative helps everyone. Mike Bloomberg. Now, what did I say right there? And don't don't mind my nails. I'm gonna cut them at some point when I get when I get the chance. Or as Cedric calls them, dragon claws. But dragon claws. Yeah, she's here. Hello. I don't know if she's gonna speak up well enough. I got the microphone between us, and I don't know how well my voice is getting picked up. But then again, you know. I can use my voice a lot better than her because it's just the way it is. Just turn the fan off. Take some noise away. I'm not. I am not turning that fan off. I will burn up. No, I'm not putting her on camera. She she is not dressed. No, I'm not dressed. Well, at least not dressed for the occasion. If she won't dress, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> so, um, but okay. So the the thing came in. Um, hold up. Let me fold this. I gotta I gotta fold this. A certain, you know. Uh. Well, I'll leave that up there. I don't know if y'all can see it, because it's hard. It's even hard for me to see. All right, but yeah, this right here. The Greenwood Initiative. Oh, wait. The Greenwood Initiative. It was just saying he, Greenwood. But, um, yeah, you know. Oh, look at that. Ain't that nice. So, I'm... Um, do you have something that you want to say now, or can I? No, cause see, this is this this is what we got in the mail. So okay, let me you know. let me let me start. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and read that. Go ahead. I'm not gonna read know. right now. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna read right now. No prep. She's gonna preface y'all. Right. So, Mike Bloomberg is worth sixty billion dollars. That dollar amount is hard to wrap your mind around, cause you know. All this campaigning he's doing is like a drop in the bucket. You know, they're getting thousands from big packs, super packs, excuse me, to fund their campaigns, everybody else. And he's just, you know, break off a few million, do this, break off a few million, do that. Don't feel it. Don't notice it. I just want you to, I just want you to marinate on that. $60 billion. So if he became president, is he going to step away from his sixty billion dollar fortune to be president for chunk change, really, really? This is why uh, Benjamin Dixon talked. He used the argument of Bloomberg is buying this election with his pocket change. He is making sure to say that. All right, you know, Trump didn't do it, and he ain't nowhere near as rich as he claimed to be, or at least he is in his imagination. But Bloomberg really is that rich. And he's trying to be president, and he's supposed to be allowed to keep all his money and keep running his businesses. Of course, why not? Trump did, and the fucking gun Congress didn't do anything about it. But that aside, $60 billion, so he can throw as much money as he wants to to try and buy this campaign. We got three different things from the Bloomberg campaign at once, all talking about totally different topics. We're going to start with the Greenwood Initiative because I'm sure you had the same question that we had. Well, what's the Greenwood Initiative? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Dude. She's already reading. I said, we can do a CR on this one. I don't even know what she's about to say, but, you know, she, she read something about Tulsa. So, and I, you know, so y'all, I'm keeping the camera with me because y'all will see my facial expressions. And, you know, I wear my expressions and my emotions on my sleeve. I don't, you know, that's just I'm, I'm going to read the whole thing. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Greenwood Initiative. 
as someone who has been very lucky in life, yeah, I really. often say my story will only have been possible in America, and that's true. But I also know that because of the artificial barriers of discrimination, my story likely would have turned out very differently if I had been black, and more black Americans of my generation would have ended up with far more wealth had they been white. They wouldn't have been black then. Building generational wealth for black families is critical. That's why I launched the Greenwood Initiative in Tulsa last month. I visited the site of the Black Wall Street Massacre where a white mob decimated the prosperous community of Greenwood. It's to the memory of the lost lives and the promise of Greenwood that we've dedicated the Greenwood Initiative, a plan to address this, a systemic bias that has kept black Americans from building wealth. The Greenwood Initiative will create one million new black homeowners, double the number of new black owned businesses, invest 70 billion in the country's 100 most disadvantaged neighborhoods. Fixing the system for black families. When I was mayor of New York, I was proud to take on the systematic inequality that held, black, held back too many New Yorkers. We increased education funding, built 650 new schools, and raised black graduation rates to record highs. We led an ambitious effort to reduce poverty and manage the largest amount of affordable housing in the nation. As president, I will work even more aggressively to combat inequality nationwide. I understand that undergoing generations of systemic discrimination won't happen overnight, but we can make progress with a clear vision and a comprehensive plan. I've included a pamphlet along with this letter that lays out my plan. When I'm president, implementing the Greenwood Initiative will be a top priority. Just me, join me in ending the systemic inequality that has held back black Americans for too long. Go to MikeForBlackAmerica.com. Love Mike. It doesn't say that, but you get the gist. All so right. it, that's it. That's it for that one. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through the pamphlet and shit, but no, that's just no, the letter no. that's sent. Now, as I said to my mother earlier, Bloomberg is worse than Trump. He's just like him, but he's worse because he's smarter. And he's richer. He is really playing on the stupidity of this country because in this country, if you say you're sorry, then everything's okay. So he said that he was sorry, he felt bad, he saw the light about all the stop and frisk that had black and brown males, especially in New York, under siege while he was mayor. He's sorry. So it's all good. We cool, right? We good. No, Mike, we're not. We're not cool, Mike. Because there's no way that you're going to be completely for such fucked up racist systems, authoritarian systems that you were running in your city, and then suddenly everything's okay. You saw the light. You, you listen to This Is America and now you're woke and you're going to do the right thing. That's bullshit. I don't care how many black folks you smile with in these pictures, how many pamphlets you put out. That's bullshit. There's another one here. I had to fold this one back so I remember to get back to it. It's a nice, nice little picture of him. And who's he sitting with? He's sitting with President Obama. Isn't that lovely? But it's a, no, no, no. But more than that, oh, you want to show it? Okay, there you go. You can go ahead and show it. You know, show and tell. We want y'all to be left out. Aren't they nice? Look like Obama's saying something important. I'm going to read what he's saying. I'm going to read what he's saying. Give it here. What Obama has said is, at a time when Washington is divided in old ideological battles, he shows us what can be achieved when we bring people together to seek pragmatic solutions. I'm going to decipher that for you. No, Bernie. Bernie can't do this because it's too lofty and it will change too much. Bernie is scary because he's got solutions to the things that people want 
that politicians don't want. Bernie is scary because he doesn't want to work with the Republicans because he knows they don't want shit. Bernie is scary because he doesn't do, want to do incremental change that will take a hundred years. I like Mike. He won't do shit. End quote. You're popping at the scene. Go ahead, Cedric. Fuck you, Mike. All right? Look, there's only two types of people that would vote for Bloomberg. Racists and idiots. That's it. Nobody else. This is the same dude, the same dude that when the Central Park Five, those five black kids, all right, was found innocent. They weren't exonerated, they were innocent, but yet in prison. But they were found innocent due to DNA testing and the confession of the dude that did it. Bloomberg legitimately, with his money, fought in courts to overturn the rule to free these people. This is the guy that was told Stop and Frisk was going to be uh, discriminating towards black people. And he was like, do it. He knew what was going on when this ha was happening to black people, and he kept it going. This is the same motherfucker that gets on stage and, and, and scoffs at people calling out his shit. It's the same dickweed that decides to run for president and then say, oh, let's talk about Tulsa and the things I've done a month or a month and a half or maybe two months ago to be upon when this was sent, all right? I did things now. See, it's like I tell my daughter, when you fuck up, you fuck up. You can't just start doing the right shit and say, well, it, it never happened. No, once you did it, it has been done. Nothing changes. It is what it is. The best you can do is own up to it, be accountable, can retain credibility so others can say you're honest at what you say and you might have messed up. Fine. You try to correct it when you notice you messed up. And I know that you're good for it. Opposed to I messed up, uh, I'm doing the right thing all of a sudden. So, you know, that mess up didn't count. No, 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 no. It's like somebody being at work and they're like, I ain't doing nothing today. I don't care what anyone thinks. Then the supervisors or managers are walking over and they, they get to work. It's been seen. It's too late. It's done. Bloomberg is doing that. You think this motherfucker ain't racist? This motherfucker got so much money, he don't give a damn one way or the other what anyone thinks of him. He showed that on the debate stage. Elizabeth Warren, as, as, as incredulous as she is, even she was upset like, Bernie, you called me a liar on stage with no shit. You lied. If you didn't want to be called a liar, don't lie. Don't start none, won't be none. Bloomberg started all and is getting all. And he ain't liking any of it. All right? This motherfucker's going to send a goddamn letter talking about some, man, I want your vote. I'm looking out for black people. Just think about this. Just think about this. He got, he's got so much money, he went to a crew deep dived in to see who the fuck was and won't black and sent letters specifically to those people. He ain't sending letters to white people that's talking about, you know, e equality and starting good things for black people. Shit. Five years ago, he's talking about, you know, well, we, we police white people just as much as they got caught. We need, we need to police the black people more. And if the black people ain't got it on them there, they got it at home. It's the same motherfucker that's talking shit about all kinds of minorities. It's the guy that worked alongside Obama only because Obama was giving him tax breaks. That's it. Bloomberg ain't in this shit for anybody but his damn self. He ain't even in it for the other millionaires and, 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 and other wealthy people. He ain't in it for them. He's in it for his own tax credit. That's what Bloomberg is in it for. So go fuck yourself, Bloomberg. Mike Bloomberg. Michael Bloomberg. You know, mass bitch is what I put that is. Man, I do not like him. I don't like you. I know he ain't going to see this. I'm just a little guy, a little fish. You know, I'm a little fish in the ocean, a little piece, a little, a little, a little piece of the ocean, just that little, little piece. But you know what? Anybody that do see this, you know exactly where I stand. You know what I stand against. All right. By default, can Jewish people be racist? Yep. Black people can be racist. And, and, and I grew up around enough of them. 
All right, but you know what? Bernie Sanders got more in common with me than Mike Bloomberg. Bernie Sanders got way more in common than I do. All right, he's with me. He's with Cedra. He's with our daughter. Bloomberg is just for himself and his money. All right, that's it. I, I you know, he can send all the letters he wants. They don't change shit. The truth is out there. Benjamin Dixon didn't start it, but he elevated it. He elevated it to the main talking points. He elevated it so much so everyone is talking about it except, except the mainstream media, paid TV media, your MSNBCs, you know, your Fox News and all that, the Sinclair Network and shit. They ain't talking about it because they need the money. When I say need the money, and I'm talking about that high end money. They ain't look. They don't want to get paid twenty five or thirty or thirty five dollars an hour. Uh uh. They want those millions per year. They want so much money they can pay one person up to three and five and six and ten million dollars a year. And that's all propaganda because propaganda makes money. Lies make money. Fear makes money. That's what makes money. Honesty ain't about money. Honesty is about doing the right thing for the right reasons for the right people. And the right people are the people that are in need, not the people who just want more greed. That is the difference. That is why I'm voting for Bernie Sanders. And if Bernie Sanders drop out in this one, I'm gonna write my own name in. I give fuck one or two. Listen, I've been saying this since people started coming out running for president. All this is are campaign promises. Campaign promises, that's it, right? That's all they are, is campaign promise. What you have to do is look at the individual's record. What have they been fighting for all along? What have their words, their actions, and their deeds been consistently saying? You know, when Kamala was in it, I won't go vote for her because she was a black woman. Her record sucked. Her, when she was, what, what was she over there? District attorney, prosecutor, yeah. whatever, whatever she was. She she sucked. She 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 fought for shit that was gonna hurt, needlessly, black people. Only, my I add, it was isolated. Elizabeth Warren, I was in favor of her a while back, but then she started meeting with Hillary. That, that can never be good. That first when when it said, yeah, you know, Elizabeth Warren had a backroom meeting with Hillary Clinton. I said, fuck her, she's done. Then I she said started it right taking then. Started taking big donor money. And then she started turning on Bernie. Turning on Medicare for all. She, oh, she was off of Medicare for all. Everyone needed that. Everyone needed it. And all of a sudden it's a public option. And then the Medicare for all for some, then Medicare for all who want it. And 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 yeah, you you, you really you have to look no credibility. at their record. Bernie was out of the last election. Life had gone on. Trump was president. We're all in dismay and pissed off. What did Bernie do? He got back to the good fight. He was a senator. He was going to keep doing what he could do as a senator. He didn't go quietly into that good night. Where's Biden been since the presidency? Fuck if we know, but now he's the end all be all. He's been working so hard all this. He ain't worked for shit. Bernie, Bernie guilted guilted and shamed Bezos into giving his people $15 an hour. He held town halls when there was no campaigns going on, talking about important issues and hearing from the people. He was working for the same principles that he always has been and that he is touting now. I want somebody who's going to work when there's nobody watching. Bernie Sanders worked so hard on the campaign tirelessly working that was the cause of his heart issues so when they toned it back they toned him back to having a regular campaign schedule that's how much he cares how many pictures are there of any candidate out there that in general in general how many pictures out there with a candidate working with black people legitimately not for not for a photo op uh uh but Bernie Sanders he, there's video and there's pictures of him being carried away by the police because he's defending black people on the ground level, the grassroots area, during the civil rights movement. 
Bernie Sanders is out there. Where's everybody else? Look what? at their record. What are they doing when no one is watching? Are they fighting for you when the when the cameras go away? When they're not flying from state to state, are they still fighting for you? Is Trump fighting for anything? Buttigieg, where the fuck did he come from? He was fucking over his own little town. No. And looked at black people. Now, he might have been talking to that black person or in black people in general when he says, I don't want your vote. And you know something? When you can look at anyone and say, I don't want your vote, that's a place you have been in privilege way too long. And then all of this shit come out. Buddha judge's shit come out. And then the black people is kind of like, nah, bruh. And then he's like, okay, then let me demonize you. Because that speaks to character. Because when he says, oh, they don't want to vote for me because I'm gay. No, we don't want to vote for you because you're a piece of shit. You're a racist, credulent piece of shit. All right? That's what you are. You're a meaningless stain on the fucking society. All right? And you need to close your goddamn sewer and get off the fucking stage, booty judge. That's what you need to do. That's where you want to go. That's what you need to do because we don't like you because of you. Now, there's going to be some black people that don't like you because you're gay. I can't help the stupid. I can't. All right? But I can definitely say fuck you for you and not because of who you with. And for anyone out there, because there's some assholes that was talking about, you know, with some, some assholes on some, you know, with Buddha Judge, you know, he's got a husband, so I guess he's the wife. Fuck y'all too. Fuck y'all. Buddha Judge is a husband who has a husband. Fucking deal with it. Oh, and if he did win, he'd be the first gentleman. And see, that would be cool. But I really ain't vote. I'm not putting a vote for cool. Nah. I'm not doing fuck cool. It's just nice to know because I was like, what would it be? The first man? I, 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 I first know. lady, the first gentleman. That's how it worked. I didn't know that. You didn't have that answer when first I asked woman, that question. First woman, first man. Which was always strange to me when I was a kid. I'm like, first? You know, just that, that was just weird. But, yeah. So, any, anything else you want to read? Or, no, or we covered it all. I covered it all. You, fuck him. All right. Just throwing that out there. Just like Mike. Just doing some random shit. Yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma was all fucked up. That was Black Wall Street. And he wants to go to the... No, what? Rosewood. That would have been another one. You know what? You know, how about Selma? You know? How about the whole goddamn Bible Belt? How about that? No, Bloomberg. You got enough money to end hunger. You got enough money to actually start businesses, keep it here, and pay people a living wage. But instead, you're going to use your money to run for office to make sure that you get to save so many billions by being deregulated and people buying into you. People like you ruin this country, have ruined this country, and it's time that you go away. It is time that this country canceled the wealthy that are in charge. It is time that this country has canceled the duopoly so that other businesses can have a chance to grow instead of Verizon and AT&T and other places like that creating territories and pushing people out and buying them out. Because now internet service is shitty and it sucks. We need better and we can't get better until the people watching this that they know and that watch other shows and podcasts get better. It ain't about just voting for Bernie Sanders, everybody. It's about voting for every and anything that is progressive. Not with the progressive name, not under the progressive banner, but with the progressive history, the progressive rhetoric, the progressive commitment, the progressive mindset, the progressive movement. It's not a person. It is a people. And it is we, the people, that it is for, that it is by, that it should stay with. That flag is held by all of us, and we carry it to the umph degree. Whether it be podcasts, in the streets, in the Senate, in the House, in the presidency, judiciary, it doesn't matter. We need to be it there and everywhere because this country has been in the past for too long, and it is time that the future is given today. Every vote counts, and you vote as a wave, as a storm a maelstrom of votes until we get what we need. And then the battle has finally begun in our favor to what we want. 
and you know you, you know you never give up that fight cuz once you give up that's when they creep in and take over and they do it right under your nose but no more this has been Cedric Kennedy and Cedric Owens for comparative reasoning thank you for listening